He's third in public comment. Okay. Okay, so. I'll do what I can. Welcome to everybody. If we could all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Mr. Wink, if you please call the meeting to order. North Hempstead Town Board Meeting, Tuesday, January 9th, 2018. Councilwoman DiGiorgio. Councilman Ferrara. Here. Councilwoman Kaplan. Here. Councilwoman Russell. Here. Councilwoman Seaman. Here. Councilman Zuckerman. Here. Supervisor Boswood. Here. Um, so before we start with public comments, I just would like to say welcome to everybody. Happy New Year. Um, it's a new year. This is a, a meeting that doesn't have many items on the agenda, but I do want to thank all of our North Hempstead crew who worked so hard to make sure that our streets were plowed, highway, admin services, park, public safety, and all the other people who were so instrumental in making sure that all the things that needed to be done were. It, it was um, it was a, a, a real testament to everybody. We started uh, the new year off, you know, with I guess the way we usually start the new year off, but just a sincere thanks to, to, to everybody. Um, okay, so following our town board procedure, we will start our meeting with 30 minutes of public comment on any matters not having to do with items on the agenda. Mr. Wink, if you have any cards. We have several cards. Uh, the first one is Matthew uh, Zeramatidis. Did I pronounce that correctly, Matthew? Sarah Matitas. Okay, Matthew, come up to the to up. the microphone. Um, I just wanted to thank you all for um, letting me interview you for my um, Boy Scout requirement. And, uh, yeah. Well, Quite we well. all enjoyed it. I know we're, we're so grateful that Councilman Ferrara um, invited us to be part of your um, interview, and uh, you are a very special young man. And, and I, I will say, Matthew asked a wonderful question. And his, his last question was, what can I do to help? How, 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 how can a young person help? And so there were many suggestions from the members of the board, but we're just so delighted to have met you. And we expect to see you back again, fulfilling some of those requirements. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, it really was a pleasure having you come up. And we thank, thank you. you. Your dad for bringing you up. And you're really fortunate that you picked a night that is a short meeting so as you sit through the meeting, you won't be uh, here too long. But thank you. Okay, so we get thank worried you, when you say that. But <laughs> yes. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. You're welcome. Uh, next speaker is Alan Franklin. Good evening, Good members evening. of the board, Judy. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. And Mr. Wink. How are you? Happy New Year and a healthy one to all of you. Amen. Yes. Uh, September 26th, I recall, of 2017, we had a meeting on proposing a committee for uh, putting restrictions on leaf blowers. And I was just wondering where that all stands because I, I've just, I have no, I have almost have no more words to say on this issue. All the information, the facts on the, the hazards, the poisons, from the exhaust, you all know. The quality of life, you all know. It's to the point now where a landscape comes onto a property, fires up the blower, first item off the truck, then cuts the grass, and then blows again. My house is filling with fumes. I don't have central air. My windows are open all summer. And you know, with all the information out there, especially the emissions of these two-stroke engines, and I think at that meeting, we attempted to introduce the electric blowers. Of course, we got a response from the uh, landscapers to the point where one yelled out, well, close your windows. I remember that. Is that any, that's a, just a show of arrogance that probably spends, as, extends right through the entire industry. Um, I have no choice. I have no option. 
I have to stay in New Hyde Park and put up with this. They have an option. Electric blowers are available. We heard from uh, Lifco, I think, who coordinated their whole, uh, let's say, attack on the town, town at the meeting, at that particular meeting. In fact, we even had an outsider from Huntington uh, kind of, uh, you know, question how, bad of a, how big of a problem is this really? Uh, he made some accusations which I don't totally remember, but it was just another show of arrogance from the landscaping industry. Uh, Mr. D'Urso, oh, oh, he's not here. No. Yes, but I have a letter from him from putting back in 96, and how it was gonna get looked into. I've been pursuing this since 1996. I'm getting old now. I'm retired. I'm home. I want to enjoy my retirement. I don't want to have to be uh, at hostage. I live on a 60 by 100 piece of property. I'm dealing with, a, uh, with landscapers that are coming in with uh, commercial blowers that are capable of 200, 238 mile per hour uh, thrust. Uncontrollable. It's in the air. It travels blocks, maybe miles. I don't know. Particulate supposedly, uh, according to studies, is so fine that it stays in the air for hours. I'm not a scientist. I smell it constantly. Mr. Franklin, I'm going to ask you to wrap okay. up. Okay, I'm going to wrap Thank this you. up uh, on that September 17th, uh, 20, to September 26th, 2017. I submitted for uh, uh, evidence, um, or for the record, a manual which stated once this machine is fired up, it gives off cancer-causing particulate. Right in the owner's manual put out by the manufacturer. What else do we need? So Mr. Franklin, we have been gathering a lot of different information, different studies. We're in the process of finalizing a committee that will be meeting soon. Uh, Jill, do you have any more information on that? This is our Commissioner of Parks, Jill Weber, who's been very uh, involved with the process. Hi. Okay. Yes, we've, we're putting together a list of potential people to represent the town and well, represent the uh, business community, and we plan to have that meeting soon. We've just met about discussing the, the possible candidates a few weeks ago. Okay. And then the, ha the storm happened and, and, the, and the holidays, so sometime soon. Uh, and the follow up on the electric blowers that the town put on a pilot program, right. uh, how did it work out? Right, so what we determined was that they worked well when you didn't need a lot of power. Uh, we used them at Clark Gardens and, and during the season when there was a lot of leaves, like in the, um, and especially when the leaves were wet and heavy, they were really not powerful enough. Mm -hmm. But we intend to continue with to pilot now in a crew that goes mobile throughout the town so that we could see how long the charge will last and how well that works. So we're buying some additional equipment to continue piloting. Well, I hope that the learning curve with the electric is going to be entirely different. They're not going to be as aggressive. They're not going to do this double blowing before they start and then after they're finished. They will, it'll reduce, it'll work wonderfully because it'll reduce the amount of blowing they do. And the quality of life issue. So we're going to be taking all of that into consideration and hopefully you'll have some news about how we're going forward very quickly, okay. very soon. Is this, is this going to come up fairly recently? Uh, yes. In the very near future? Yes. Okay. It will. That's why I'm here. I want to see this thing follow through. Uh, well, you know, at, right. As, you know, Commissioner Weber said, they had just, they, they you know, just were meeting on, 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 on doing that. So, um, we will be uh, convening the, the, the committee very shortly. We're talking about a, a small percentage, what, two, 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 three thousand uh, landscapers in Nassau County versus, I don't know how many residents we have, but they're a very small portion and they're controlling my quality of life. Right. Well, there, you know, we want to take into account all the different factors and, and hopefully we'll come up with something that. You know, you know what they say about a compromise. A compromise is where not everybody is exactly happy, um, but we want to, to, to find something that will be palatable for the landscape as well, also helping our residents to make sure that this is not negatively impacting their uh, quality of life. Okay. 
product is out there, electric is the way to go. They have the option. Again, I don't. Okay. And I thank you for this opportunity to express what I feel, feel is a, a health and safety issue that pertains to every resident of the town of North Hempstead. Okay, thank okay. you, Mr. Franklin. Michael O'Donnell. this up good evening. good evening happy new year thank you all here and i wish you all a happy and healthy year especially my councilwoman who's had a very difficult time and marie's having a great time again i wish to repeat what you had said regarding the plowing it's fantastic i watch these guys at three o'clock in the morning wait joe did you hear that Mm -hmm. Say it again. Joe heard me. He, he's listening. He's listening. <laughs> I complimented him before. I said, he's looking younger. The guys were out there. They did a great job. Right? They, I watched them this morning. I heard this banging noise. I go, what the heck is that? 10 o'clock in the morning. You know, that's for my... And moving the snow away from the corners. It was great. It was fantastic. I appreciate it. One thing, and I called 311 tonight. I took a walk last year, I don't know if you remember, Hillside Avenue on the south side from Winthrop Street to Franklin. The homeowners didn't shovel their sidewalk, and the residents getting off the buses. It was treacherous. It was like, okay, who's going to get hit by the car? And I went by. It wasn't the one o'clock, one degree night, it was the night after that. And I checked the sidewalk. Some did 10 feet, some did 20 feet, some did 50 feet. Call 311 to ask them to get the inspector out there. I came tonight to ask you, my councilwoman, to get the, it's difficult with these things no, here. No. <laughs> They're a little problem. You're doing great. Doing great really with these things. To come out expeditiously and get out tomorrow or the next day and give them a warning again, do it. Or the town will do it and they're going to bill you. There's a liability there. They're liable civilly as well as criminally if someone gets hurt. And I appreciate it tremendously if you could do this, but. Absolutely. So is Sean Brand, this is <coughs> enforcement, right? Yeah. So is Sean here? <coughs> well, I have the complaint number. I called in earlier. <coughs> oh, Matt? Okay. okay. Matt's going to take it. But again, you guys did a good job. They That's really, wonderful. They really, uh, I called 1645. So maybe, you know what, maybe yeah. you guys. I'll get it off. Yeah. But again, I thank you. And we had a good time, and I wish we have a good time this year. And no one running the hallways, Councilwoman. I saw you. She's like a jogger in the hallways. <laughs> <laughs> and in those heels. Right. So I, thank you, Mr. O'Donnell. I, I just wanted to um, also comment that. Um, Councilwoman DeGiorgio is not able to be with us uh, today, although I know that she would love to be here. Um, and her um, legislative aide, Chris Shannon, is, uh, I'm sure, <coughs> taking copious notes. Okay. All right, are there any other cards? There are no additional cards. Okay, is there anybody else who'd like to comment? Okay. So, um, Mr. Wink, if you would please begin tonight's agenda. Resolutions, item one. A resolution appointing Elizabeth D. Botwin as town attorney of the town of North Hempstead. I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Councilwoman, uh, excuse me, Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Bosworth. Aye. Item two, a resolution appointing Maura LaBarbara as director of purchasing of the town of North Hempstead. I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Uh, Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Bosworth. Aye. So I'd just like to say this is, you know, kind of like a housekeeping thing, but we're so happy that we're reappointing you, Maura, and of course, Liz. Um, <coughs> it's, it's, a, it's a great team. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Did I say aye? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Item three a resolution appointing Stephen Mazza and Paula Ewell as equal opportunity, um, equal employment opportunity and Americans with Disabilities Act officers for the town of North Hempstead. I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. 
Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item four, resolution appointing Wayne H. Wink Jr. as Registrar of Vital Statistics. I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item five, a resolution authorizing the town clerk in his capacity as Registrar of Vital Statistics of the Town of North Hempstead to appoint a deputy registrar and sub-registrars and authorizing the payment of annual compensation for such services. I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item six, a resolution appointing Wayne H. Wink, Jr., town clerk, as marriage officer of the town of North Hempstead. So I'm just, Matthew, remember we talked about appointing the different marriage officers? This is it. Um, so I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item seven, a resolution appointing first Deputy Town Clerk Eileen Kreenberg and Deputy Town Clerk Nicholas Guarilla as marriage <laughs> officers of the town of North Hempstead. I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item 8, a resolution appointing additional marriage officers for the Town of North Hempstead for the year 2018. I'd like to offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Council, uh, Councilman Ferrara. Matthew, this is the rest of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item 9, a resolution designating Town Clerk Wayne H. Wink, Jr. to represent the Town of North Hempstead at the annual business session of the Association of Towns of the State of New York to be held in New York City on February 18, 2018 uh, through February 21, 2018 and designating Senior Deputy Town Attorney Michael Kelly to serve as alternate to act in the absence of Wayne H. Wink, Jr. I'd like to offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item 10, a resolution establishing the list of designated official newspapers for publication of notices, resolutions, ordinances, and or local laws by the town during the year 2018. I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item 11, a resolution authorizing the placement of various policies of insurance for calendar year 2018. I'd like to offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. <coughs> Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item 12, a resolution establishing the list of designated depositories for town funds for calendar year 2018. I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item 13, a resolution establishing petty cash funds and change banks for various de town departments for calendar year 2018. I'd like to offer the resolution and move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item 14, a resolution authorizing the making of a short-term loan from the Town Outside Village Fund to the General Fund. I'd like to offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Boswell. Aye. Item 15, a resolution authorizing the employment, appointment, transfer, adjustment, correction, change in grade or salary, and or termination of employees and or officials in various departments of the town. So I'd like to say this resolution will include um, the resignation of some very special people that have worked in the town um, with, with us, and that's uh, Robert Toriano, um, who's senior policy advisor, and our controller, Avril um, Smith, and um, one of our very special town attorneys, uh, Mitch Pitnick. So we wish them <coughs> well. They're going to exciting new um, opportunities, and we will miss them. So I'd like to offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. 
i also want to wish them well in their new endeavors i also want to mention diane o'donnell our traffic technician who has been with us for many years and who really helped us through navigate through a lot of difficulties in different streets and find out the best option for our residents we thank her very much also councilwoman oh i'm sorry councilwoman russell Councilwoman Seaman. I and I wish them all very good luck in the coming year. Councilman Zuckerman. I and I, same thing as uh, my colleagues, we wish them the best in all their future endeavors and we really appreciate all of their contributions over many years uh, to the town of North Hempstead. And Supervisor Bosworth. Aye. Okay. I move to adjourn. Councilman Ferrara. Aye. Councilwoman Kaplan. Aye. Councilwoman Russell. Aye. Councilwoman Seaman. Aye. Councilman Zuckerman. Aye. Supervisor Bosworth. Aye. So now we're going to our <coughs> Town of North Hempstead style, Solid Waste Management Authority agenda. Mr. Wink, if you please call the meeting to order. Town of North Hempstead Solid Waste Management Authority, Tuesday, January 9th, 2018. Member DeGiorgio. <coughs> Member Ferrara. Here. Member Kaplan. Here. Member Russell. Here. Member Seaman. Here. Member Zuckerman. Here. Chairperson Bosworth. Here. Mr. Wink, if you'd please begin tonight's agenda. Resolutions, item one, a resolution appointing officers of the Town of North Hempstead Solid Waste Management Authority for calendar years 2018 and 2019. I offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Member Ferrara? Aye. Member Kaplan? Aye. Member Russell? Aye. Member Seaman? Aye. Member Zuckerman? Aye. Chairperson Boswell? Aye. Item two, a resolution appointing Elizabeth D. Bodwin as counsel to the Town of North Hempstead Solid Waste Management Authority. I offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Member Ferrara? Aye. Member Kaplan? Aye. Member Russell? Aye. Member Seaman? Aye. Member Zuckerman? Aye. Chairperson Boswell? Aye. Item three, a resolution authorizing the placement of various policies of insurance for calendar year 2018. I offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Member Ferrara? Aye. Member Kaplan? Aye. Member Russell? Aye. Member Seaman? Aye. Member Zuckerman? Aye. Chairperson Boswell? Aye. Item four, resolution establishing the list of designated depositories for authority funds for calendar year 2018. I offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Member Ferrara? Aye. Member Kaplan? Aye. Member Russell? Aye. Member Seaman? Aye. Member Zuckerman? Aye. Chairperson Boswell? Aye. Item five, a resolution authorizing the employment, appointment, transfer, adjustment, correction, change in grade or salary, and or termination of employees and or officials within the authority. I offer the resolution to move for its adoption. Member Ferrara? Aye. Member Kaplan? Aye. Member Russell? Aye. Member Seaman? Aye. Member Zuckerman? Aye. Chairperson Boswell? Aye. Now don't get spoiled. This may be the first meeting, but they're not gonna all be this short. Um, I, I move to adjourn. <coughs> <coughs> Member Ferrara? Aye. Member Kaplan? Aye. Member Russell? Aye. Member Seaman? Aye. Member Zuckerman? Aye. Chairperson Bosworth? Aye. Thank you. Mike Levine, you officially want the poll. I was gonna say, With one Liz, minute to spare. It's, it's great we appointed Liz, but she really needs to shave. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Matt. Southeast corner. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, I, I have uh, one doctor who's there. Okay.